space. But who? Third. Welcome back, Blake Cousins here, Third Phase Moon, with the top UFO videos from around the world. Within an hour, we are receiving a video that has been captured moments ago by James Vines. What he's captured has been captured in different parts of the world within the past week from Ventura County off the coast, also in Tijuana, Mexico. What are we looking at? Let's just roll with James Vine's video right now. got the videos coming in and right now I just have to say there is a bizarreness happening right now in regards to this shaped object in the sky because it's just not only happening in Arizona which is within an hour or so we're sharing James Vine's video to you on third phase of moon we're doing it uh, we're premiering this video and we're gonna be going over videos that have been making its appearances around the world in regards to the classic flying saucer being shot in broad daylight incredible stuff we're also going to be enhancing james vine's video but let's just go a little bit over the background because this is kind of breaking news james vine just submitted this to the mutual ufo network but we got permission uh, to share it with you he states the backstory is is that he's a driver a truck driver in arizona and he was uh, leaving his pickup uh, just southwest of Casa Grande, Arizona, when he saw this in the sky to the south. He says he was holding his camera still, but the picture was jumping and going in and out of focus. And there, it felt like an electric charge in the air. So he's stating that whatever this object was, it was stationary in the sky. And, his camera was also stationary. He's not exactly sure why the picture is jumping in and out of focus. And he says he felt an electric charge in the air. Incredible uh, testimony coming in right now. He says whatever it was, it had to be massive. When at first is about five miles away, when it started rolling, when he started to roll the video, it moved about 20 miles in just about a minute. Uh, that's pretty quick. Uh, if this is some kind of airship, I don't think an airship could traverse 20 miles within a minute. Incredible s stuff here coming in from James. He says also the color was kind of like a tarnished aluminum and yes, it was tube shaped. He says maybe it's something and maybe it's not, but he said it felt real funky for sure. So uh, we're looking at this video. I got Brent with me and here I want to enhance a video and James Vine he says it's up to you brother uh, you can share it so that's what we're doing right now and I asked him if he saw this uh, object uh, leave and he states that um, in the comments as we're doing this uh, we're trying to do it real time he says no I uh, put my camera down and when I looked up it was gone to the south and he said it made him feel shaken. Uh, I could imagine having an experience like this. Uh, Brent, uh, you're with us, and we want to thank everybody from around the world who's joining us right now in this premiere, going over uh, these broad daylight sightings just happening moments ag ago today. Brent, what's going on? Yeah, everybody in the chat joining us live. This is awesome. Going over UFOs at third phase of moon at night. We like it, and we'd like to share it with you what's happening in arizona it's definitely a hot spot we've over the years captured thousands of videos that were submitted to third phase of moon and this is one of the best ones in 2020 what he's looking at 
I don't think it's a balloon because his description describes this thing moving 20 miles within a minute. No balloon traverses that fast. And whatever this thing is, it's it seems to be hovering there. A very stationary. And he said he was shaken by the presence of it and having that electric charge in the air. I got a feeling maybe this thing was putting off some kind of a, a mission of a, a EMPs or something. Uh, what do you guys think in the chat? I, I want to get your thoughts because right now this is very similar to what we just shared uh, recently on Third Phase of Moon. Uh, I think it was just two or three days ago we're uh, catching these videos coming in from around the world and people are sharing it right here at Third Phase of Moon. Let's pull this one up. This is I think coming in from uh, um, that MUFON case that we premiered uh, just a few days ago and again it looks very similar to the exact same craft than what we're just uh, witnessing in Arizona. So uh, could this be the same craft? Because uh, lately we've had a plethora of UFO sightings and it's bizarre. Each, every one of these UFO sightings has its own characteristics. But now all of a sudden in broad daylight, uh, this UFO, classic UFO disc shaped object is making the rounds around the world in in Tijuana we're looking at it now and uh, Arizona earlier and we're going to get to the other one in Ventura in just a bit but Brett what do you make of the similarities yeah they're too close to say that they don't match what we're looking at is a direct match you don't see any undercarriage acting like this is a balloon in, of any sort or a blimp what we're looking at is similarities that are undeniable that they look like a flying saucer and that's what we what we want to see at third phase and the enhancements really showcase that the similarities really remain the same the dark undercarriage and the underlining silver metallic look on top yeah, the similarities are definitely straight up uh, in your face this in my opinion is possibly the same object that we're looking at in uh, Tijuana but what's crazy too is that this has not only happened in, in uh, Tijuana but uh, not also just moments ago that we're sharing this video coming in from Facebook. Again, we're going to be supplying all the original links that uh, you can take your own uh, look at them. Uh, and James Vines, again, just captured this uh, earlier today. We're sharing this, I think, within hours of his capture. So this is, uh, again, breaking news. But yeah, give us I'll, a big thumbs up on that. Absolutely. Let's pull up this one. Coming in, Ventura, I also speak with eyewitnesses. Listen up. What is that out there? Floating. It's like in the sky. Yeah, it's like a saucer shape. It's not moving at all. It's not a plane. It's not like a blimp. All right, we are broadcasting right now on Third Phase Moon. Thanks everybody for joining us. I have Dakota with us. He submitted this video to us earlier today on our Facebook. And right now we're zooming in on it. The original video is to the left and the zoomed up version is to the right. And right now I can't tell you exactly what we're looking at. And we've got Dakota on the phone. I just got him right now. And I'm so happy that he's joining us. Uh, welcome to the show, Dakota. Hey, thank you for having me. All right, cool, man. Uh, let's just get to it. Right now, some people are going to speculate this is some kind of blimp possibly, but I've never seen a blimp out uh, uh, over open water like this under these kind of windy conditions and this being so stable I, I can't imagine what this is can you tell us exactly when and where this was captured it was captured in ventura it's right on the beach right next to like the right next to their main street right there right next to the pier um and it's out towards just the water at like basically nothing like near like a there's this group of islands out there and it's a little bit far off the side, like for how far the object looks, it looks like it must be like probably a mile out of the shore from those islands. Yeah. And uh, it, we that's the one thing I thought was a blimp, but the weather and uh, it just didn't seem right. And for how far it looks, for how big it looks, a blimp wouldn't make sense. It looks giant, like is yeah, we thought maybe a helicopter, but then that was kind of rolled out too because it didn't really make sense that for how far it would be, that it would look that gigantic in the sky. And for a little bit, it was hovering, so we thought maybe 
a blimp, but towards the end of the video, we were leaving the beach, and I didn't get I didn't get the rest of the video. I stopped recording, so I wanted to leave the beach after I saw that, and I, uh, it, I, it started moving fast off in the distance. I wish I recorded the rest, but it was really foggy that day. You couldn't even see it. Like, disappeared. All right, so when was this captured? How long ago? It was, uh... Was it, yes, yeah, it was just, it was two days ago. Okay. At Adventure at 3 o'clock, 3.30. All right, so I imagine there's more videos out there. And let me tell you, this thing, like, we're zooming up on it, and we can see that you are very far from the object. This thing must be about, I would have to say, maybe a mile to two miles out, a mile or so. And for it to be a blimp, yeah. this thing is would have to be maybe four to five times larger than any kind of blimp that we're aware of, that's for sure. I hear that uh, other people were there uh, alongside you, kind of speculating yeah, what it was. What do you think it was? And your friends? My girlfriend, my girlfriend was there with me, and she's here with me right now. Okay, let's get her on the phone. Let me ask her uh, what she thought right away. I'm so glad you got this on video. Uh, it's a broad daylight sighting. Quite interesting. And your name? Hi, my name's Paige. Hey Paige, welcome to the show. So, what's your first impressions of what uh, you guys captured over there in Ohio, Ventura County, on the coast? Yeah, we were we were looking for uh, seashells, and I looked up and I noticed it, and I was like, "What the heck is that? It, it seems really big, and it was just kind of like hovering." So maybe I thought it was like a helicopter, maybe, but it seems too big to be a helicopter. And I have it on tape too, so we were like really confused on what it was. Oh, great. We got uh, two multiple angles. Uh, she would like to do a follow-up on this in the next uh, day or so. But again, a blimp, I'd have to rule it out. You would see some kind of undercarriage and over the ocean. And these kind of conditions, that would be absolutely, that low would be dangerous. Yeah, I didn't think it was a blimp. I maybe thought, like, it was one of those Army helicopters. Because Port Wayne Amy is not too far from Ventura County, but... The way it was hovering and how big it was, it wow. couldn't have been that. And then it seemed like it was getting closer towards the beach, and then all of a sudden it started moving to the left. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, a while. it was hovering there for a while. Like you say, how long would you say it was hovering there? You guys said you left the beach. Did you uh, lose sight of it? What What happened at the end? When we noticed it, we watched it for about, I would say, like, three or four minutes, and it just stayed in the same place. And then once it started moving to the left, we got kind of freaked out. So we took a video of it to show proof, like, this is what we saw. And then we just decided to leave because we got kind of scared. Well, yeah, I would be kind of, it almost resembles something right out of the movie Independence Day because I would have to uh, speculate. I don't know, I wasn't on the ground, but I know my ocean and looking out, over the horizon, I would have to say that this thing is at least 300 yards uh, wide. And what's your thoughts on that? Because it's way bigger than any kind of military helicopter or blimp. It's no uh, Chinook helicopter. No way. No, exactly. That's what we thought. And I, I was, we were down in Ventura, which is around like 20 miles from our home. And I like, right when I saw that, I called my brother and I was like, I caught this. And I was like, what the hell? Like something look at then breathe, like, see if it's one of those, like, big banners that, like, those little planes drag or something, like, see what it is, see you if know, there's anything going on, and he, like, looks, couldn't find anything, I looked when I got home, and we see nothing. And it disappeared after, like, five minutes. Yeah, it was just gone. Yeah, we're actually doing some uh, close-up enhancements of this, and we see no kind of uh, airplane kind of trailing some kind of banner behind, uh, no small aircraft, and this thing is basically hovering in midair and right now right now there's a lot of uh things that are unexplained on this thing but you guys captured something incredible brent what's your question well i'm just uh thinking that there's a lot of underwater bases that have been recorded in the area not too far from this malibu and all these uh uso f uh, phenomena is prevalent in your area you guys captured something yeah it's crazy yeah. um where we live actually too there's this kind of stuff, like, happens a lot. A few years ago here in Ohio, I, cap I, I didn't capture it, but I saw it with my own eyes some UFO stuff in the sky. Like, it always happened. I'm, like, tempted to carry my camera with me all the time so I get better, like, zoom-ins and stuff. It's crazy. 
It, it sure. Wow. I'm so happy that we're sharing this right now uh, live on Third Phase of Moon. We're going to get it out to the world and we're going to do a follow up. I want to get a, a Paige's video as well, mm -hmm. side by side comparison. And I'm asking everybody in uh, Ventura, Ohio, if you're on the coast within the past 48 hours, you saw something strange out there. Let's uh, solve this mystery right now or we're, uh, this is something. So very there you strange. go. The similarities uh, from Ventura County off the coast over there of Oxnard. Again, uh, the same exact, in my opinion, object in the sky. Classic broad daylight flying saucer. And now we're seeing what was captured just hours ago and we're sharing it with you. And I want to get your thoughts, people. What's going on? Is this the same object in your opinion? Is this a. Uh, kind of a little bit of maybe disclosure, a little bit of uh, possible secrets, uh, the Space Force program showcasing some of its assets, anti-gravity, because whatever this is, it's quite large in the sky and uh, coming in from the eyewitnesses, uh, the reporting is that this thing is massive and it moves fast at points and then remains stationary. This, uh, this thing seems pretty impressive as far as the technology behind it, the anti-gravity, uh, is maybe becoming more public. They're not hiding anymore. That was the words I was just about to say, Blake. They are not hiding anymore. And it seems like this past week, these frequent sightings means that we're gonna see more. And I anticipate by the end of the month, we're gonna see quite a few more videos that resemble exactly what we're looking at. These disc-like objects that look like they're three or four times larger than your ordinary blimp. So the mystery remains, is this the object that we've all been waiting for? Uh, are they being bolder? Is the anti-gravity flying saucer about to become public? And uh, how big is this thing? I want to get your guys' thoughts because we got a little reference here with the telephone pole and uh, the distance. He said it was miles away from him. This thing would have to be, in my opinion, at least maybe 50 yards, so 100 yards, if, if even that. This thing is huge. So, again, what's going on around the world. And before we get to the next incredible video, we want to thank everybody that's been supporting us right here at Third Phase of Moon. And uh, yesterday... And over the past couple days, we've been live and Knowledge888 has been doing some major super chats uh, supporting Third Phase of Moon. And it really helps the channel. That's why we're just doing a quick shout out to Knowledge888 for his incredible uh, $200, then $100 super chat. Whoever you are, man, uh, appreciate it. Apparently, he's got some UFO sightings that he's had. Uh, maybe we could get him on the show. Uh, hit us up on the email, Knowledge. 888 make uh, some personal contact because I want to hear about some of your uh, sightings and maybe you might get one of these on video and you might want to showcase your video on third phase of moon again the, the super chat helps so much knowledge 888 uh, thanks so much Brian any words yeah again he just popped out of nowhere knowledge 888 aloha from Hawaii thank you very much Okay, absolutely. Now let's get to this video coming out of Japan. Uh, let's just roll the video now. Here we go. A possible um, lights coming out of the sky within a cloud and then lights start to burst out of it. I'm just going to roll it. Check it out. これ。色はちょっと出方が全然違いますね。これでここ目。このこの線全部そう。あ、もう一個してきた。すげえ。
んなわけないよねちょっと下手に呼びすぎた今日は満月で全然来ないからちょっとみんなでちょっと呼んで「来ないね」って言って別れたんですよねそしたらどんどんどんどん押してきますこれニュースでやるのかなそして煙で全部落ちてる。あ、もう一度来た、もう一度来た、上から、えー。これね、実はでっかい、大きなタイプのやつなんだよね。これがこんなに出るのをね、は、の初めてかもしれないです。第一、一地区に大体これ一地ぐらいしか、この大きさのやつ出てこないんで。すげえ。All right, we'd like to just roll the raw video and then、uh, leave our comments of what we might think it possibly could be because、uh, we, we think comments are important. So, again, we're looking at this, and what's very bizarre to me in this video is、uh, wherever these s o u r c e of burning fireballs are. Are coming out of the sky, you don't see it. You see this ominous cloud, and the lights appear from within the clouds from the exact same place. In my opinion, I've seen a lot of flares in my life, and we don't usually post military flare activity on third phase moon. We try to avoid it as much as possible, but this one、uh, is it's kind of bizarre to me because then again,、uh, you don't see. Or hear the source of、uh, any kind of aircraft, a helicopter, or、uh, a military jet releasing these flares, if that's what they are. Something could just be burning up within the cloud and then just releasing uh, uh, this debris. Brent, what do you make of this? Yeah, notice the iridescence around this huge light, and you could tell that it kind of changes from your regular, fr-、uh, your regular flares. Most flares just remain and have a hot solid circle. This has like these flaring, iridescent kind of weird attributes. Well, we want to thank、uh, M42 Kamakawa. Apparently, he shot this in the district of Kaido. And hopefully, I'm saying it right, but what we're looking at is definitely strange. It seems that his UFO channel, his YouTube channel, He seems to be a UFO hunter and he's got a bunch of UFO videos on his channel.、We're, we looked at this one in particular and did a little background check on who posted this video. And it seems like this person,、uh, M 42, is posting a bunch of his UFO videos. So that's a good thing. I want to get your guys' thoughts and make sure you check out、uh, M 42's channel. We're going to be supplying the original link. But again, what are we looking at? Is this some. Military event going on, si- simply flares, or is there something ominous within the cloud itself、uh, releasing these orbs of light burning up, or is there some kind of atmospheric phenomenon? Again, if these are flares, you usually you see parachutes、uh, suspending these、uh, orbs, this light, phosphorus, if, if I'm not mistaken, burning,、uh, suspended in air by parachutes. I don't see any of that here. Yeah, and mostly you'll see a flare burn up before it touches the ground, before touchdown. And these things, these lights seem to be dropping right straight to the ground. Who knows where they're dropping to and could it be created a fire hazard? These things are burning rather hot, and a flare wouldn't do that unless it was mistaken on their trajectory. Yeah, absolutely. Kind of bizarre. That's why we're rolling this video and sharing it with you guys. And、uh, it's great to see all your guys、uh, joining us on this premiere, all the chats and、uh, the support. It really means a lot to us. It's incredible the support from around the world and the connection that we have with the people. They know where to share their UFO videos and they want to share it with us because they know we're putting out the information as fast as possible.、And、just like I said, th- this is kind of a breaking news event tonight just by、uh, sharing this video from James Vines, who captured this video and posted it just hours ago. So 
We're so happy to share these videos with you. And again, if you've captured anything amazing, hit us up on our Facebook. Uh, we're always there or Twitter. We got a Twitter account. It's all down below and make sure you upload that video to YouTube. Copy paste that link and hit us up. My email is in the description and everybody again, thanks for the support knowledge 888. Uh, you're whoever you are. Thanks again so much. And um, we're going to be keeping our eyes on the skies over uh, the next week. Maybe even we're going to do some UFO hunting ourselves. We got some beautiful skies coming up. Brent, any last words here? Yeah, it's a good idea, Blake. We got a great spot right uh, within a mile from our house, and it's got a whole plateau where we have a 360 degree look of the night skies. And we're going to set up with our night vision, computers, lighting, bringing some people, and look for the UFOs that are out there. We know they are. That's right, Brian. And make sure everybody hit that notification bell to get uh, up to date when we post videos live or uh, put up our premiere videos and subscribe this is third phase of moon thanks everybody for again the support and submitting your videos stay safe everybody we'll see you real soon